setting or whatever. Welcome everybody <laughs> to today's webinar and it is the 16th of May and we have a handsome Brian sitting next to Jim. He had gone <laughs> to visit Jim today. So I'm going to give the microphone to Brian now, let him see how his experience has been uh, so far. Yeah, it's uh, it's an honor to be here with Jim and Will and all of you guys here. This is this is really cool. Um, one of my dreams has come true. So thank you um, to all those uh, listeners out there. I love all of you. Um, it's many of you have inspired me, and uh, that's why I'm here. And um, I'm taking that up that leadership role and just. Uh, but like I said, the questions are so important, and thinking bigger, and asking, never stop asking questions, and uh, it's 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 a part of everything. So uh, I really appreciate. It. Thank you for uh, being here. No, thank you, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Brian is one of our spiritual leaders, and um, I know a lot of you have learned a lot from him. He is just a gentle, wonderful, kind, uh, wise person, and. Um, I'm so honored that he came all the way out to see me. So, thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot. I'm I'm honored that he's here. So, and I'm honored that there's so many people here as well. We have 11 people in the room. So it's like, um, wow. <laughs> I'll give it back to you for a bit, of Sabrina. If you want to introduce people and do announcements. Okay. <clears throat> so let um, the announcements for today's next week. We will be having. Um, Rob got the air here, so everybody's waiting for that. So I'm sure that link it's going to be it, the, the website's probably going to crash because <laughs> um, everybody's looking forward to that. And and you also have close encounters of the eighth kind on June twentieth. So and I'll I'll also be on his show on the twenty seventh of May. Okay, so Jim will also be on his show on the 27th of May, so that should be. And at what time that would that be, Jim? I believe it's 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, but I'll get back to you on that because it changed a couple times, but I'm only in my mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and let me introduce everybody that's here. We have Dan, Guru Dan, Hayan, Ina, uh, Caitlin, Marco, Sharon, Stephen, Zenaida, and of course myself. And Jim has a full house with him today. You and I, I know Will because I can see Will, but I'll let you introduce the, the rest. I will, of I will introduce any, everyone from, I'll go around the room starting to my left with Brian. And I have Mark here, and Angie, and Barbara, number one, and Barbara, number two, and Raymond is here, and Sandy, and Brian, from my next door neighbor, and uh, Francine, and then Will. So we have a full house today. Somebody better come through. So <laughs> <laughs> they always do. They always do. <laughs> So, but anyway, and um, I've been having a wonderful time with uh, Brian. He came yesterday morning, and he said he was going to come and sleep for a few hours, but we never got to bed because we chatted all day long. So it was um, wonderful. It was, and then Will came to lunch with us. It was a great thing. It was very nice. We had a wonderful day. So, and many things were discussed. So, um, thank you everybody for coming. And uh, I wanted to see if anybody had anybody that they were in particular they wanted to hear from today. Also, I'll, I'll hear from anybody you, you want to hear from, the people in the room here, because we have a lot of people here today. So uh, one at a time, is there anybody you want to hear from today? Um, I want to say that there's still a lot of questions about the site to site. So okay. people still had a lot of questions about that. OK. Um, so they might want to speak to to Kurt. Okay. Um, Kim did channel. Kim channeled uh, Alma Talk and yeah. 
he did clear up a lot of things. Uh, there's still a lot out there going on, yes. Yeah, there's still a lot out there going on, so it might it might be um, good. But Kim Channel, I'm gonna talk for a long time. It was really good. She Thank did you, an Kim. excellent job. So. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate that so much. Give 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 Takur a little break there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, there's still a lot of questions. So Takur might be. And there's still a lot of things that need resolved. So there, some of the questions won't be answered today because they're still up in the air. But there are some questions you probably could ask that we we'll, we she could answer it or she could give you an idea of what may be the answer in the future. So, so is it yeah. cool enough in here, everybody? Right. Okay, right. I'll let others speak. <laughs> Um, I have a request as well, definitely Kenjin, because uh, Air hasn't been really covered for a really long time, and uh, he's been gone for a while. He's been in some private sessions, but he hasn't come to the webinars. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very cool. Who else? Uh, lectures. Uh, it's a. Uh, hey Jim, how you doing? Hi. How how are you, Steve? Doing awesome, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's called the lectures. Uh, uh, Roxy was talking about it's like a new species, or a species that hadn't been channeled or that we that we don't know a lot about. So they're you. called lectures. Yes. Okay. Are they fourth dimensional? Do you know anything about them? No, no. Roxy just mentioned their name uh, one time. The lectures, the uh, L E C T U R E S. I just know the, uh, the how to spell it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Anybody? Anybody in the room? Hi, Jim. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I would like to request someone from from our solar system. Okay. If if there is such a um, if if there is uh, a species on Jupiter, then uh, get them in here. There Otherwise, is a, someone like Venusians or something like that. There are Venusians. There is a species on one of the moons of Jupiter. I'm not sure which one. But that one of the moons on Jupiter can sustain life. Um, and there are Venusians, yes. And there's peop there were Martians. They're not in our solar system any longer, but they still exist. Uh, and they call themselves Martians because that's where their home planet was. But uh, there's other... Other species on Mars now. Yeah, I found out I was there, Jim. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I was a Martian. You were a Martian? I was a Martian. Were you a little green Martian? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, but I was a Martian, and, and I was a renegade. A renegade Martian? A I renegade. just could not imagine that, Sabrina. I just <laughs> Because I was, I did not agree with what was being done to the planet. Well, yes, they did have, they did had an atmospheric problem. So yeah. Yeah. So I, I ended up fleeing to Venus, and then. Okay. So. Yeah, Venus is an interesting place, and we never talked to a Venusian yet. So. Yeah, that would be a good idea. That's an excellent idea. Hiya. Yeah, there is a species on one of the planets or one of the moons of Jupiter, yes. Oh. So. Okay. So. Is that it? Okay. Huh? Sure. Sure. You don't have to. Okay. Come over here. Yeah, come on over. Sandy has a suggestion. Say hi to Sandy. Hi. Hi, hi Sandy. Hi. 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 Um, I'm actually going to go see Tryon. A little louder? Yes, Cryon is in Buffalo. Yes. Jim's never channeled, uh, channeled Cryon before. No, I have not. I wondered if he could, and that would be awesome if he could. Oh, interesting. Um, I've but, never... um, that would be my request. Okay, very good. Thank yeah. you very much. <coughs> Cryon. Yes. Cryon is he, He's there tomorrow? No, Sunday. He's going to be in Buffalo Sunday. Wow. He's going to be in. I didn't know. I think you. Did you say something about Cryon being in Buffalo? or? Yes. Are you going? I didn't think so. I didn't. Okay. Um, Jim, I would like to <clears throat> make a request. Yes. People that are in the room with you to either 
sit where Will is sitting when they're going to ask a question or speak really loud um, because most of the time we can't hear what the question right. is. Yes, be oh. aware everybody here that they cannot hear you because the microphone is like you know, the facing the keyboard, of course you know that, or I have the microphone. So if you sit where Will is, you can talk right into the microphone. So that's the way they'll, they'll hear you. So Yes. So... Um, can you hear? Can you hear us really well right now? I can hear you. I I couldn't hear her too well. She asked for I... cry on, cry on. Okay. <clears throat> can you hear me if I talk like this? Um, if you could be a little louder, would be good. Gotcha. How about Fr Brian? You try talking. Can you hear us okay? My voice yeah. is off. Well, I know. I need to speak up a little bit. But... Yes. <laughs> speak yeah, up a little there. louder, uh, Brian. You, okay. you started out fine, and then your voice went down. <laughs> Actually, if you move in toward the, um, oh. yeah, if you move in toward the microphone, like when you're talking, yes. How can you talk now? Can you guys hear me now? No. no. <laughs> oh, yeah. so that, it's, that it's over here, it's right. next to you. So. so what I'll do is this: whenever Brian has to talk, I'm going to move the microphone around to him. See if you can. Now, can you guys hear me? Yeah. We could hear you before. Okay. okay. Yeah, we could hear you just a little low. That was all. Okay. Can you hear me still very well? Yes, we hear you fine. And then if I move this out here, he can talk into the microphone. Right. So that's good. Logistics. Logistics, logistics. All righty then. Uh, if there's nobody else, I'll uh, see who comes. I have no idea who will come today. Um, but. Um, Thank you all for being here, and we'll, I'll see you in a little while. Thank you, Ginger. There. Sending you appreciation from Lectora. I am the representative from there, from that place where you speak and have asked for us to come. We are grateful. Are you from Venus? No, I am from Lecturus. Lecturus. You say Lecture. Okay. We pronounce it Lecturus. The name means nothing to us. If you mispronounce it, it matters not. Do you have questions for us? You call yes. us. I believe I Stephen. Am, I am Francine Serita. Yes, just call me Francine Serita. Welcome. Thank you. Can can you tell us a little bit about your your planet, your world? We are a higher species dimensionally than you are, but we do have much interest in your 
connection to the galaxy. We bring you peace. We bring you understanding that you are chosen. We bring you understanding not to take this for granted. Your movement in the system of ascension makes you very interesting in many ways because it's not been observed in this kind of cultural setting before. Continue if you must ask questions. So how were we chosen? There was a time thousands of years ago when they seeded your planet actually longer than that. We have no comparison on your timeline to what thousands of years ago, but that is the thought process this mind has brought into it. But many distances ago, you were seated in many places at once and then returned to discover that the seeding process had become hybrid with those that existed in early parts of your development, with the early reptilian population that died out because of lack of sun and oxygen, but they still continued off-world at some scenario and were returned in a different way, just as seed material for your planet. Therefore, many different cultures arose from your planet, on your planet, that are unique to the universe because they had different levels of perception of what was happening and then they were visited by others who gave them elemental logic of spices and early developments that were a little beyond that which they were really supposed to have at that time and these things intermingled you will notice that there are pyramids all over your planet in different places, but they look differently because they developed culturally differently than they were seeded to become. Does that make sense to you? Because the very start, the Stonehenge, was meant to be part of the initial de development as a terraforming apparatus to, which changed into many different things over time. It was added to its performance and given many different activities and purposes, but originally it helped to create the foundations of development on your planet. It also sent out the energy of third dimensional energy of creativity in the sense that it helped move evolution along in a very quick manner in some senses. Your civilization moved from the beginning to evolutionary portions much quicker than other planets did because it was seeded. You will understand that many planets are much, much older and many systems are much, 
much older. You are at the edge of the galaxy that you are in and therefore developed later. You would think that you would be out there and develop sooner. This is not so. Your son was not developed in a very strong fashion. It's a medium-sized sun, and therefore it took a more time for you to develop with this kind of action in the universe. I am sorry I am not speaking well. But let me tell you that your spiritual guidance was also given some direction by visitations over the centuries that you call them, hundred year periods which we will have to analyze. But we know now that you are at a position to move into your final goal at this time. There are many goals afterwards, but this goal is very important because it is the life of the galaxy. There are many species that have been around many centuries and they are dying because they are lacking the things that humanity has and the different materials minerals and chemicals in their system that humanity has in their bodies and you will help with hybridization of galactic proportion and help them to survive not just in a light way but your immune systems will be encouraged by these hybridizations and your immune thought processes will be helped by mental capacities I'm not sure you even understand that yet speaking to the different elements that consist of your body and moving into a diverse culture of different kinds of beings that interact and can interbreed and become a within the next 10,000 years almost a galactic culture of very important structure and understanding questions now Stephen oh. oh hello hello how are you I am sufficient. Sweet. Um, I just wonder if I had a connection uh, with y'all, and I would love to connect with your energy. I send you light and love. Thank you. Our energy is not nearby except for where I am at this time. However, your energy and our energy shall connect if you wish it to be so. Yes, yes. Thank you. Hi, Jan. Hello. Well, hello. Did you say what dimensions you were in? I did not. Would you like to? It is not necessary because your understanding of dimensions is inadequate. Okay. Are you physical? Yes, we have physicality, but not in the same way that you have physicality. Our physicality is more structured in the sense that we can do more things at once than you can do because it is necessary to control many things at once within our culture. The time is not time. It is distance. It is relevant, relevant, relevant actualities relevant actualities yes have you have you visited earth no but we have observed earth many many years as you call them 
centuries, if you wish, distances. We have much distance with you. Mm. So we don't have you in our history. You like not... with the pyramids or such. We were evolved beyond what you could use from us. We let others do the work because they could do it more effectively at that time. We would have only pushed you too far ahead and that would not have been good. I understand. We have learned to overcome what you call violence. We do not experience violence. We do not experience those things of negativity to the degree that you have them. However, we do need to study them for they do cause advancement in your species even though they are negative and they seem anti-progressive they do help with your evolution which is fascinating do we have <clears throat> someone on earth incarnated here that has been incarnated we Would wish you? not to be part of who you are yet. There okay. are those that have incarnated from everywhere to Earth. They are willing and wanting to experience your third dimension. The people that come from our area of space have incarnated on Earth many centuries, as you call them, ago, much distance, and found it not acceptable at this time. However, in the Oversoul, as you call it, it is acceptable to go there if they wish. I personally have not been. I have studied much. I would be an expert on your existence, but it would be better for me to come there and expose myself to your actual cultural differences. But there is some reasons for us not to be able to do so at this time. Okay. Um, this dense reality that we are experiencing here on Earth, uh, have you found, from what you know, uh, how rare is it? Do you know any other planets that are as dense as, as this planet? This planet was purposely seeded in the way to express itself to the universe in a way that is unlike any other planet. You may not realize, except for now, that you are unique, and that is why so many want to experience you. However, there is another planet on the very opposite end of the galaxy that they are working on in a very early stage to do something similar for a different part of the existences that cannot be helped with what you are doing, such as insectoids and mantis and reptilian. Reptilian can be helped by you, but only to a certain degree. This other seeding will be for the different cultures that are not warm-blooded and not part of the seeding culture that you have experienced. Mm. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. I would like to ask if um, the people that are sitting with Jim, if anybody has a question there. I have a question. Do you have any advice for us 
on how we can advance more easily or towards the end goal? The development of telepathy on your world is becoming different than any other advanced world because usually telepathy grows in a constant, not the same as your world. Yours is very diverse and your telepathy is different. It is more diverse and it reads different things within each culture, which is very curious. Your telepathy in the Far East is not spiritually guided and therefore it reads more intellectually than those that are spiritually guided, which mean, lead, leans toward emotional readings. But to help you along, we would like to tell you that telepathy is your salvation in some ways. We worry about you not being able to exist beyond this timeline due to those that are violent and have agendas that are not peaceful because they would like to control everything. Those of you that are enlightened have the answer to this, but you cannot give it to them at this time. They are closed on their sensibilities of peace and understanding, wisdom and goodness, because they feel that once they control, then they will be in control of peace, wisdom and goodness. But this is not so. They do not have the right sensibilities for this to be carried out. What would you? I'm sorry. What it would you say is the best way for us to develop telepathy from the heart? I do not know your species and how you develop physically. Your spirituality is becoming known to be strong in some ways. I cannot teach you what I do not know. You are a mystery to us in many ways. Your spirituality diverse. Your acceptance of each other strangely interesting. You do have an interaction, but it is not complete enough for you to know each other well. You believe you do, but it does lack. And so I cannot advise you. I am not one to tell you what to do. But in our past, which is far different in its origin and development, telepathy played a great role. And I believe it will play a great role in your world as well. Right now, I do not see it happening, but we were told that it will develop in a distance that is not too far from you. Okay, thank you. Sure. Hello. Greetings. Ah. Greetings. I am Shir from Israel. Ah. Continue. I want to ask you if you are involved with the hybridization program. If you give your DNA in order to help humanity to ascend. No. Okay. We um, are observers. We are not involved in giving of ourselves to you except for esoteric knowledge as you call it. Sometimes it is necessary to bring information to you from the universe that you need at a certain point that might be crucial that no one else is bringing you. 
we just help you survive. We find this the most meaningful gift. Okay. Thank you for your efforts. Our and DNA would be useless to you. Hmm. Okay. Um, if you ever uh, want to visit Earth or Earth Links, I uh, volunteer to meet you here. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have any question uh, for me, maybe, that uh, I can answer you about humanity? Why would you want to live in the desert? <laughs> I don't live in the desert. We have desert places. There are I some see. people who have... Hmm? We looked up your country. There is desert and dryness. Um, actually, Israel divided in uh, three ways. Desert, some uh, snowy mountains, and the middle. The middle part has a lot of trees and uh, nature. This is where I live, actually. Yes, I see that part. Mm -hmm. Understood. Our planet is much more lush. That is why we were... We made it that way because we enjoy the nature of the way it looks. We made it so that it is a sensible vision for our enjoyment and there is no dry deserts like you have. Animals mm -hmm. of that nature that live in your desert can and we have developed ways to bring them into lush surroundings and still survive. Mm. Yes, I can uh, relate why uh, you don't want to live in the desert. I do not. Your country is not beautiful to me as much as others. Okay. But that is not to put it down. It is just my preference. Understandable. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Hello, this is Dan. How are you? Dan. I've been aware for uh, some weeks now of a lecture being that's been in my, uh, I've been sensing it in my awareness. Lectorus, yes. Um, I was told uh, their name is Maltot. Maltot. I know Maltot. Does Maltot have any special message for me? Do you Yes. May I know what that message is, please? Yes. Your leadership ability is growing. You must understand that when becoming a leader, you must listen carefully. Sometimes you do, but other times there are thoughts in your head that can come to you that interfere with the listening process. Your life is to be of meaning. Therefore, you must take this purpose and be serious with it. It is not that it is light to be taken, but it is that that you must know that you are profound and that your understanding be well-leaning. Learn to speak to everyone in very many levels. You can do this. You have that understanding. But listening is your weakest part. You must learn to actually understand the words and know the meaning behind some sentences that may mean something else to others. Okay, yeah, that's sometimes difficult to do. Yeah, yeah, that, that is this a challenge. Is why we this is why we speak to you, because we want you to be that who is understood and gives the meaning and understanding that is to be given in a proper way. Those thoughts that you have given to others sometimes are misunderstood. And therefore, to be your most high meaningful self, your listening ability must increase. Okay, 
All right. And, and Mal Todd is, is a lecture being, I'm told, from Lectura. a couple of weeks ago. Lecture? Okay. Lecture. Lectoris being? Okay. You may say lecture, but we will call ourselves lectorians, lecturists. Lecturist or lecturian. Okay. It's spelled the same way as your lecture, as I understand. Yeah, that yeah, that was that's the most common understanding of it. Okay. No. All right. That that's all I had. Thank you so much for coming and thank, thank you for you sharing with for me. For your purpose and for your giving of yourself to others in the way of valuable meaning to them raising their spirituality. You are on your way in fourth dimension. Thank you for your grounding. Thank you. Hi, um, this is Sabrina again. I just have a yes. question. What, what would you say makes a good leader? I would say well-roundedness. That of understanding being able to accept, being able to give, being able to know and not be controlled by those things around you, but to be controlled by the spirit that is within you and without you. Those leadership abilities, being able to stand when others fall, being able to speak for what you believe is correct when others are afraid. The loss of fear of who you are. Courageousness in your development of purity. Purity meaning of spirit. The body does not hold purity in the sense that it can be in its fullness, but the spirit can move within many realms. Okay. Um, where, where, it, where are you located? What star? We cannot tell you that. Okay. All right. Um, and then somebody was asking if you could tell us what is it that you enjoy doing? I enjoy everything. Everything that you, I can do, I enjoy. Because that is the way I would like my creation to be. There are times when there is not enjoyment. And the reason for that is that we must learn to be objective. We must learn to be multifaceted and therefore that takes effort that sometimes is not enjoyable but once we reach that level in our understanding it is enjoyable. Mm. Um, in terms of objectivity um, and leadership. What is what? How would you say it's the best way for you to come up with a conclusion? The conclusion that you think it's best for you, or even for a group, um, while staying objective and listening to others. Am I making myself clear? Your question is very confusing to me. It has taken on several different levels of word processes. Yes, I, I figure as much. Um, you, we, you have your own ideas of things, uh, what, what you should do, and there is also the greater good for the group. Um, how do you choose? Uh, what it's best. The group is of one mind in some places. Now there are personal decisions to be made 
you must make your personal decisions on your own. The group comes together and decides what's best for the group, but that is not necessarily what is best for the individual at certain times. So the individual must relate to the group what is the best for them, and they may leave the group for periods of time to have their own understanding, development, and growth, which is acceptable. But with the community of our thoughts, we come to agreements, but then we separate to have our own diversity with our own thought processes, development, growth, and creativity. We are great creators. We are great. We call ourselves artists, as you call yourselves on earth artists, but in a much different way. Our sensibility of artisticness reaches deeper into the universe reaches deeper into the community. Each of us is a work of art in ourselves and is continually changing to enlighten one another in color, sensibilities of light, processes of dynamic energy and things that you not yet comprehend on the quantum physics level, on the exogenic genesis level, we are participating with the universe in many senses to become greater beings. Thank you. Thank you for that answer. Um, does anybody else have any more questions? Yes, please. Uh, hello, my name is Sharon. Uh, uh, hello. Hello. Is it Steve and Sarah? I did not hear that. How did you say your name again, please? It is all right. You do not oh. have to pronounce it for me. Okay. Uh, it, it is not necessary for us to be on a familiar basis. I only give it for my introduction and for my protocol. Okay, but thank you. But you are an interesting energy. Continue. <laughs> thank you. Uh, once again, thank you for being here. Um, if you can speak to our understanding, um, I would love to know uh, if you could describe your physical appearance of the Lecturus. The Lecturus species is a very close energy light being. We do have physicality in the sense that we can move from one place to another in the sense that you move from one place to another. We are not static. We do have a shell or a sensitive outer portion that enables us to feel sensations and uh, help each other with sensation matters and protection. The very fact that we have an outer shell a sensitive outer portion is to help us with security and help us not go to places that we are not able to go but our light portion can enter areas where you cannot we do not have legs like you have you have sexualities in a different way than we do. It is still a part of who we are because it has meaning in our 
in our past, present, and future. And so, therefore, it must continue, and we appreciate the sensation of it and the mere understanding of what it represents and how to portray energy, not portray, to represent energy to each other. This is pardon. One moment. Ah. Uh, our physicality is not on your dimension as well. Is that enough for you? Yes, thank you. I had one more question. Ah. May yeah. I ask what? <laughs> May I ask what your personal excitement is? My personal excitement is reaching and understanding new worlds and species, understanding their physiology, their makeup, their psychological map, their other communicative sensations. You see, our communication comes from a different way and angle than yours. Yours is all in the head. Ours is physically all through the body. We can communicate with our entire being. You can too, but not in the same way. You give off signals with your hands and legs, arms and body, energy with your head and expression. These are the ways you express yourself with your entire body, but we can do it energetically as well as dynamically in many senses. I can change my shape, but only to a certain position, but this will tell someone exactly what my stance is and what my opinion is, who I am, where I am, what I am doing. It is much more expressive. My whole body is like your face. That's fascinating. Thank you so much for sharing. I was wondering really quick, uh, uh, how often do y'all explore other universes? Always. And... Uh, and uh, do y'all still eat physical, uh, physically and drink physically? Only when necessary. Sweet. And do y'all offer sight to sight? No. You could not exist here. <laughs> Thank you. Much love. Much love to you. Express yourself. I believe we are done with the questions. Um, I want to thank you for coming and letting us learn about you. It uh, was it. my learning and pleasure experience to come here and interact with your synapse process and learn more about your physicality in a different way. This is first cultural understanding that I have had of you. I do not look at you as primitive beings. Although your evolution is low at this time, you are dynamic, interesting, and worthy of. Thank you. Thank you. Unless you have a question for us, there's something you would like to know. Uh, I would need more research to understand your brain. Okay. <laughs> I am not sure why it is divided as it is with different things on each side. 
I imagine your evolution has something to do with this. There are many theories on why the brain is divided on your planet. It is divided on other species, but not in the same way. It is divided for intentional purposes. Yours seems to divide it in a very haphazard way. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but um, certain uh, certain parts hold certain sections. Oh. Yes, so I believe that it it is important for something in your galaxy. Perhaps it has something to do with your immune systems and how you will eventually be able to speak with different parts of your brain to the galaxy because I believe this is part of your evolution to be multifaceted in communication. Mm, interesting. Hello? I have one question. Sorry. That is correct. Okay. Is that okay? I'm Alan. Alan. Nice to meet you. Um, Meeting you is um, pleasurable, yes. Uh, thank you. Um, there may be people watching that don't fully understand what's going on. So my question is, do you have a message for the skeptical people out there that don't fully understand? Perhaps we can bring some awareness to them. How can I present awareness to those that are unaware? The w awareness within them has to speak to them. I can only give them a resonation of awareness. They must accept the resonation and bring it into themselves and awaken. Other than that, I cannot affect sensibilities to the point where they awaken from osmosis. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you for coming. We thank you. Appreciate it. Much love. Much love to you, yes. Kukwat. You are welcome. We Greetings. want a telepath or Lakesh. Omak. 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 Yes, we haven't spoken to Lakesh in a while, so that would be beautiful. He gets to hug Brian. Omak. Right? Are you guys cool enough? Okay. Can we turn it down a little bit? Or just okay. I am Ken Jean. Welcome. Greetings, Ken Jean. I have just come for a moment because I have not spoken to you for a great while. There are a few that I have spoken to, but only on private sessions. But I just wanted to bring the news from ERA that the wars are nearly done. The things of peace are happening there now. And things are developing that are much pleasing to all those on the ERA world. Some of you have also visited the nurseries there of the hybrid children. Thank you for your visitations and your understanding that this is important for them to have human contact. Although you may not know that you have been there, some of you remember and some of you do not, many of the ladies, and there are a couple of men, do come to the nurseries of ERA. We bring you there astrally, but we know those of you that are nurturing, we know those of you that want to be seen with them, and hold them and give them the energy of your species. Your hybridization 
is a wonderful thing for the universe. You do not even understand as of yet what good you will be doing. You will not be doing any harm to anyone and will not be ruining or conquering any species in any way. And it will come as a thing of love and understanding. We understand that some of you are concerned that some things given in peace turn into war. We understand that. But our intent is that all the hybridizations that have come to our planet and are here and are growing and are meaningful to us are those of great understanding and great Ah, just prosperity in the sense that it will encourage the galaxy, strengthen the galaxy. Your intent is so useful here and save many species that would not otherwise be saved. Your immune systems are so necessary for some species that are dying of, of things that cannot be cured within their own environment. They cannot develop things because they have gone through so many different kinds of medications, their bodies no longer are taking anything in them for a healing purpose. They have expired or exhausted all the different kinds of medications and the body has become immune to them. Do you understand? where your immune system through hybridization will save the galaxy because your immune systems are very strong and will be able to make a difference in many of these species that have worn out all their, their bodies through all the different things that they have used for them. Now, you may say, why haven't they used the natural? Why haven't they done that? They have. But in order for it to have been useful, they would have had to use it earlier on before all the poison was in the system. You see, they poisoned their system, and then the natural came. They understood that the natural was better, but it was too late. The natural could not defeat the unnatural in the sense that it was a poison, a toxin. Yes, it can pull out some, but it was too much a part of them. So therefore, your immune systems will be used in a greater and more wonderful way than you can ever imagine because it will give them a new start they will then be able to use their energy systems they will then be able to use other means of cures to help them with the help of your immune system now I give you this knowledge and understanding only for this that it is not going to be used in a negative way you many of you are learning about how to treat your bodies in a more sensitive and healthy way. This is so much appreciated. Your health, your exercise, your understanding of the energies that help to heal. You have found them in time to save your civilization. You have found them in time to save your timeline if no one blows it up but you have the right things development of good food taking away some of the toxins out of it you will now develop a way to get rid of all the toxins in your food because you've discovered in time in the right era of distance that you can do this and this is my message to you that you develop your health and understanding and many of you are many of you are very aware and very 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 much 
teaching the world how to move forward in a more healthy way. And your energies will be greater because of it. Your immune system will come into an even greater aspect because of it. Those of you that are now giving your DNA to, to the hybridization program are healthy. Even if you feel like you have many flaws and you have no idea what the, the galaxy is suffering from. You have no idea what, what kinds of diseases are out there that are affecting the universe. You have no idea the severity of the condition of the galaxy. So thank you very much. I am Kenji. I am the king of Era. Hello, Kenjean. How are you? This is Sabrina. Sabrina. Yes, I know. I've spoken to you before. Um, first, Caroline says hello. Caroline. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, I, let me ask you about the site to site. Um, s some have um, so having difficulties with the chip, and maybe you can help clear some no, things. Um, from, from what I understand at this point, I've gotten many news reports from Group Near about this situation. I do not deal with the governments of your planet. I do not deal with what they have to deal with, and I find it quite offensive in some ways. But they are going about it the right way to establish proper communication with the planet to make peace. That is their goal, making peace with the planet to bring it about change in a peaceful way so they are not being intrusive. Now many would say intrude please, but they cannot to bring about the way that things are supposed to happen. And the chip is something that is being discussed. It is not by far the answer to the question. It is not by far. But it is what your governments have suggested. So therefore, it must be investigated. Do you understand that? Yes. It is not the final answer. It okay. is under investigation. It is under scrutiny by your people, our people, their people, the whole the galaxy of light, the federation of light workers, Elohim, all those involved in the discussions. How can we make this better? How can we come to your planet? How can Grukvik Nir actually bring this about? Because they are the catalyst. They are the genesis of this peacemaking. The first contact people will be from there. Okay. And so we are come together as a, a, a committee, if you will, as a, as a great congress. But your government is difficult to work with because your government and your people do not agree. Yes. Your government, your people, and your religions do not so agree. Yeah. Your government, your people, your religions, and your basic uh, people that are aligning with spirit are sometimes all out of agreement as well. So to make everyone happy is impossible. Yes. And, and, and let me tell you something that you, you may know anyway. And that is, if you do not think that you are being watched already... You are delusional. You are being watched already. Not as closely as a chip would make you being watched, but you are being watched. They know all about you. They know when you go to bed at night and when you wake up in the morning. So if you think that your privacy would be more invaded by a chip, oh yes, it would be somewhat, but they know everything you do. So why the chip? The chip would bring it into a greater 
pro uh, privacy invasion, yes. Yeah. And I so, think... But, but of course, greater control. They always want greater control, and this is another means by which they see, aha, if we can control site to site, we can also control a greater... We also have a greater vision of what these people are doing, what they're up to, and things of that nature. So, yes. No freedom. No freedom, correct. No freedom. So this is like what I said, it's under great scrutiny. Yeah, because um, that is part of the, the challenge, because we understand that just by our phones, we're, you know, that's enough for them to do a lot of the watching, actually, that it's yeah. necessary I'd for them. I'd let me them. tell you, one of the other things that were suggested were pods, that you would go somewhere in the community and go on a pod and leave from there. And there's absolutely not, because people don't believe in aliens. They would be, like, outraged that, that a pod would be built for people to be sent into space or whatever. How ridiculous. But, and they don't even want people to know that there are aliens to begin with. But we suggested the pods, or I should say Brooke McNear did. It was one of our ideas that it would be public knowledge that you were leaving the Earth to go somewhere. And they, you could tell them whatever you want. You could say, oh, we're just going to California. Right. Um, but uh, the thing is, they, that wasn't acceptable, and we understand why that was not acceptable. But there are many, many ideas in the works, and that one was just foolhardy, because there was no way they were going to accept that from the very uh, mention of it. So, Yeah, because um, some, of, some of the objections that people have are, uh, you know, privacy, privacy, you know, with the family, privacy in the bedroom, and privacy with some ETs that might not want the conversations recorded. Well, I can understand some of those objections. You see, it doesn't matter in the bedroom to me. They already probably watched that. Probably have many <laughs> movies of it anyway. But, um, <laughs> but I can understand personal conversations and things of that nature. But if they wanted to... Uh, to film you in the bedroom, they would do it anyway. So if you're a handsome couple, look out. Um, <laughs> uh, so I am not really concerned about what you do in uh, your bedroom. And I don't and think they're really concerned about what you do in your bedroom, but they do want to hear a conversation. Pillow talk might be something that they might be interested in. Yes. Because, but the, uh, I do not think that they want to know what you're... I think... Some of them are at the highest levels have become asexual anyway, and it's like they would turn that right off. No interest whatsoever. I'm interested in the information, how to become more powerful, get more money, and help my family. Those are the things that these governments are. They're not saying, uh, can you tap into the uh, sexual thing? No, no. No, 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 no. No, no. 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 We, we understand that. It's just the comfort level there would be lost. I see. Well, you know, turn yeah. off the screen. Yeah. Yeah. I think that yeah. um but but that's not the the thing the the major thing that I think at least um that I'm concerned about is um the Amatak had mentioned something about being uh dangerous if they got their hands on the chip. And to me that's a big concern. Um well they would have their hand on the chip because they would be listening to what's going on in the colonies. Now we have, uh, I should say, I, I say I because I am part of Grook Fickner in, many, in many senses. I do run my own planet. Grook Fickner does not run my planet. I do run my planet. However, I am very connected with them as an alliance. I am not actually in it, but I am on the board, so to speak. But um, I say that um, they shut it off. Whenever you are not on the on the colonies. colonies, however, can we trust them to do that? Can we trust them to actually shut it off for all people who are not on the colonies? Can we trust that? We would like to be able to. And Kinji, why don't they have it where they can absorb from the outside instead of having it in our bodies? 
because they that's what your your governments want your governments want to be able to know where you are and for them to be able to do that they would have to have the chip but they can develop other ways to be able to see you on the colony without it but they don't think that we know that so um, yes so they want the chip they want to have that great control and I do not believe they would always turn it off when they when you're not at the colony I think for some of you they would but not for all of you yep yep and I, I have the awareness of that now could the chip be removed once it's put in absolutely it is okay. a removable chip it is not permanent who does the chipping which side we will do the chipping but it has to be to the specifications but we have the greater technology and we we would have to do that could it be more energetic or does it have to be because the, the chip has to come from us because of the site to site yes. okay all right because we have the technology for site to site they have the, the knowledge for site to site but ours is much more advanced. Yeah. Yes, we want to get there in one piece, as someone said. Yes. So, therefore, there is much discussion yet to happen. And we will keep you abreast of it. But as I say now, it, it looks like it may take a little time because your needs and the government needs and our needs have all have to be met, not just one. Okay. Not All right, that's actually. They won't just meet your needs, of course. And they won't meet oh, our of course. needs, of course. They must be happy with all. We must all be happy, or it cannot happen. And everyone said, oh, it will be so wonderful when sight to sight happens. We did not foresee such problems because there are not such problems in our world with sight to sight because it is understood what sight to sight does and it is not a dangerous process and it's not one of spying or in infiltration or world domination or takeover or whatever it is that they expect or we're not even allowed to come there physically to the committees we have to be in astral projection in holographic form even just to speak to your governments so it's 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 uh, primitive silly really <laughs> it's primitive I uh, we're uh, actually it's been discussed that it was it made a negative feeling among many of the species that that's the way that it had to be but that is the way that it had to be so they have so much fear they have so much fear yes so much fear. but we have overcome the negative part of that so okay. we will do what they ask in the way that they ask us to do it to keep the peace yeah because I understand that everybody's going to have to compromise um, to, to come to an agreement and uh, you know not ev you're not going to be able to please everybody um, it's like the word compromise to them is a dirty word because they wanted they want to have all the control but yeah. they have relented in some ways because they have let us do a few different things to help them and they've taken the weapons away from pointing at us they let us bring more people to the council they let us speak to they let us send representatives in third dimension liaison teams very very small three people teams to the governments but as far as a, a conference call no not in person but they sent Nina and they have sent uh, a couple others from different species to in human form to speak to some governments about these very specific things and um, oh, it, it the the uh, rumors that flew from these different meetings is quite amazing. But uh, they were squelched. 
by us. We had to squelch them because they were just untrue. So um, that is all I will say about that. Okay. Um, and then the other, the other um, question was, why not allow us to remember when we go astral? Why, why not just, why not give there, us that? Well, we have discovered something. Let us under, Let me uh, explain to you. You have much artificial waves in your in your atmosphere, and we've discovered that a few of those waves, like uh, the waves you get from your cell phone towers, your the waves you get from telephone poles and wires and many kinds of man-made waves that are out there. Also, because there are so many ships around the planet, we move them out farther. They were also interfering with the wavelength of your understanding. While you were at the colonies, you remembered everything, but on the way back, you were bombarded with different waves and different... Even your governments sent out a special wave to sort of interfere with that, too. So, um, on top of it, it made it so that some people couldn't remember a thing. If you were in a remote area, sometimes you could remember some things. But those people in city-like places, or places with a lot of wavelengths going on, could not remember anything. Because it was, you, you, cannot, div you cannot filter them out from an astral projection in the sense that you are going through time and space and air and the, the whole thing. You are not... You are not solid, so you will pick up all these different things in your astral projections. However, when you, get, when you finally get to your destination, you will remember it. But at, on the way back, if the government has anything to do with it, they send out a special disruptor, whatever it is that they do, they learn from the reptilians, they send that out. But for some people, it was just the waves of, of all the different... Uh, bad wavelengths that are in the air. I have a question. Yes. Can uh, the, the men in black on the ground, would some of them be assistants on the ground teams to, to work to make sure to make sure there's no interference? They can if that is their mission. We have no control over the men in black. Your governments actually only have some control over the men in black. They are their own agency like your FBI's and CIA's, which have very little supervision on the government, they are they are pretty much on their own. And the and your politicians say, we know what you're doing, but don't tell us, and which is a horrible thing, because many of them have gone to the darker side and some things. So yes, they are run on their own, and they do report to some nations some civilizations on your planet, uh, some political hierarchy, but they are not really told what to do, except they're giving generalities. Take away the aliens that are not doing the right things and are not supposed to be there. Listen to the conversations of those people that we suspect that could be against all humanity. Find Find those people that are not, or find those people and watch them that are doing sight to sight things or astral travel to a, a different cultures and species, you know. And there are just, they have different, definitely different agendas for each of their things. And some of them are just watchers, some of them just watch. I know some of you have seen them. They come outside your house and sit in a car. And you don't know who they are. Uh, I, can know, I know that uh, there are people here that have seen them. And they said, there's somebody watching me. And I know that they're watching me because they're wherever I go sometimes. And they try not to be seen. But it's not to be feared. Right, it's not to be feared. But, but if you speak to them, they'll say, I have no idea what you're talking about. So, yeah. Um, one last comment on the astral. 
now there are some people that do remember somehow. Can they be studied so yeah. that we've already done that, yes. And that's okay. what we found when we studied is they're they're in an area where the 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 interference is not as much and that there there are some people that the government is not they just don't care to do them yet they have certain people and certain areas that they want to cover and if you're not within that area some people remember quite a bit okay. and you know what they're not the ones that share with you on this site that what is what they've seen and what they know because they're just in the background and they've gone to the colonies and they remember and say I wonder why other people aren't remembering and um, because I remember this this and this but they're quiet and they and they actually don't want the government to know that they went so there you have it so so they have their thoughts intact much of them not everything but much of them okay thank you um, Z Hello, Kenjin. How are Hello, you? Hanaida. How are you? I'm okay. Um, I'm very happy to embrace your energy right now. You need <laughs> some energy, you. my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my question is about the chips. Uh, if the people agreed to have a chip just because they want to embrace our friends. Uh, can it be checked by ETs first? In the purpose is safety for people, that government, and what I feel it's more CIA um, cannot um, check their technology. Because we don't know what is inside of the chip. I you know what I mean? Yes, I understand. You're saying is the CIA going to be able, the FBI, all these different, all these different agencies, are they also going to have for, uh, your information and uh, access to the chip? And the answer to that is I don't know, because oh. that has not been discussed fully yet. The very idea of the chip is still being discussed. Who is going to be able to have the knowledge is not all clear to us either. And therefore, this, these talks are at the beginning in some senses because we know that the privacy issue is a very big issue with you. Now, we would prefer not to have FBI or CIA, but just those that are scientists have mm -hmm. access to the chip. Because the scientific community is not as harmful, not most of it, I shouldn't say. They're, they're curious, loving, wonderful people in many ways. We would prefer that it be handed over to the scientific community. Yeah, so the first it's to be checked by ETs. Yes. What kind of chip is that, the, the technology of the chip? Yeah. The chip will be made by... Uh, Grok Fikneer, it will probably have an Octorian slash uh, Yu-Yil technology and it will be um, for site to site, that's why they must make it because the site to site has to be perfect. With the absolutely a spiritual component to it also. Yes, a, a protective component, yes. yes. But mm -hmm. also with the communication and the, the different things that are necessary. So, yeah. Yeah. So my um, the second question is if the government and our friends, it is, could not come in one decision, is it possible that you, as the king of era, can take people who wish to meet um, anyone from Britain first yes. in your planet? We so we can go there I, and they can come, come in the planet era to meet us. They, we are under the same rules and regulations as all the different species. And that is there is no site to site from any of them now. Some of them do it clandestinely, that they do not 
the government finds them and they will shut them down and put them on probation. They've done that with the dog planet. They've done that with uh, someone from Sirius that took it upon themselves to do some site to site. They took it upon the, the, even the Draconians, which are under your planet and off your planet as well. Um, they did site to site to the underground with a couple people and were caught and they were cut off. And they weren't even off planet. They were just to another species. And so this is how much fear your planet has. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> um, Kenjin, I have a question from Slava. And he wants to know if the chip would also uh, read our thoughts. It is not designed, it would not be designed to read thought patterns, no. It would be designed to read energy fields. It would be designed to read heart palpitations and things of that nature for health reasons because if you came site to site and there was something medically wrong when you arrived, it would be uh, in tune to that kind of a procedure that they would be able to help you with a medical issue. Not a mental issue, however. That is why before you come site to site, they do a mental evaluation on you. Okay. Alan? Um, Hello. Oh, see, I'm sorry. There? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Let her finish. Enough. Sorry. Go ahead. Um. I'm sorry, um, I was got disconnected because my cat just jumped on my laptop. A very healthy activity. <laughs> yes, because I was going to ask you, Kenji, because his name is Kenji, too. Oh. <laughs> so I was suspicious, I was like, oh, is there something between you, energy between my Which cat and you? Was he named Ken Jean before they knew of me? Uh, no. Ah. So when he I was bought after me. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yes. Well, I will have a connection with him for now, for sure. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, and he heard that, didn't he? Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, yes he did. <laughs> I saw that reaction. It was like, what? Um, yeah. I understood, yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Alan. Hello there. Continue. Nice to see you. Thank you. Um, just a quick question. Um, regarding religion and the chip. Is it because religion is against it because they think it's the mark of the beast? That could be one... Uh, understanding of it to certain people. Now, if you're Buddhist, no, it wouldn't be the mark of the beast. It would be um, that they don't believe in aliens and they're, they're growing in peace and find that that is, would be a disturbance. But there are Buddhists that do believe in aliens and things of that nature. You're, but you're right, the Christian population is the yeah. ones that would be most vehement against it. They would be most big... vehement. And that's a big group, isn't it? It is a very large group, yes. Yeah. Now, Islam would tend to ignore it to some extent, except those that are radical, that believe that they, anyone outside of their belief are infidels. Now, yeah. those who believe that everyone else is an infidel will be... And that's a big group. Definitely not wanting aliens to be part of that. They would be infidels as well. Okay, thank you. There are other, other different circumstances that would not be accepted by many different religions and for different reasons. But you're right. Isn't this, isn't this causing a big problem, though? It would be a problem, yes. Yeah. That's but shame, you know it? what? It, it, unfortunately... It is going to happen, and they're going to have to change how they believe in some ways. They do not have to stop believing in a Christ figure. They do not have to stop that, because yeah. there, 
but they do have to include others. others. And there are some species that might want to become Christian in, for some reason. It, it is what it is. Universal about life. Exactly. Okay, thank you for that insight. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Sandy? Brian? Hi, I'm Brian. Okay. What is water to you and your planet and to the universe? Water is life, of course, but our life, we, every planet has a different form of water. Water is heavy, water is light. Water is like it is on your planet, just H2O, but on other planets it has much more me metals to it, or it has much more elemental understanding to it. Some species are sulfuric in nature, and their water is much more sulfuric. Some are carbon-based, like yourself, silicon-based, you know, different things. So their water is slightly different for them to evolve in an atmosphere where that is the main substance. That is the main creative substance. So the creative substance also is in the water. Beings cannot survive without some form of liquid in their system, blood, whatever. There are some silicon beings that have very little liquid in their system, but as and such as the uh, insectoids, there's still liquid in their system, but they have exoskeletons and much the density, the, the place where they have most circulation is in the brain. That is where their circulation is. And it does not come down into the body all that much. It's a very thin circulation system throughout the body. It is necessary, but it's not like yours that's very plentiful all to the edge of your skin. Theirs is more mental. Their circulation goes through the body in a very small way because they need to movement and things of that nature. And they do need the brain to send messages to the body, but they d there are most circulations in the brain, and that does need a, a liquid, a chemical, yes. So that water is life. Water is many things. It's creation, actually, in many senses. And it, it, I could go on and on about water, but I'm not sure what you're actually basically asking, except that water, to me, symbolizes life in the universe. You, you answered my question. I was asking your relationship to water to learn from your paradigm of how you interact with water. And yes. Hearing creation and life is a, exactly what I was asking. Ah, then you, that is exactly what I'm saying. So, um, but it has many other dimensions. Water does because you, it moves into steam. It's, 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 uh, it interacts with many different chemicals in many different ways. The forms. The, the forms, yes, it changes. And it can be heavy or very light. There are some places where the water is even lighter than earth water in the sense that it, it moves in a very mist, misty way. And it's considered water, but it's actually more like a mist. You're welcome. Uh, it is time for me to go. Um, I have got to go. I, there is a meeting that I must go to. Yes. Sandy. Oh, Sandy. Hi. Hi, this is Sandy. I had a question for all. Actually, a statement. Yes. I realize how powerful creators we human beings are. Yes, you are very powerful, yes. Um, and that seems to be... The biggest problem we're having is our government. Yes. Um, I'm wondering what the possibility of us dematerializing or, or changing our government through our manifestation process. Because, yes. Um, maybe bringing more light to it or changing the people or the beings that are there. Correct. And so that they are more attuned to 
love and peace yes. as we are. Acceptance. Accept. All right, let me, let me address that. The more people that have that frame of mind that come into that understanding that that can happen, that believe that this is the way that you should move, the more greater possibility for it to happen. You cannot do it all by yourself. You need to, you need to have the understanding, the connection, the, the wavelength of those around you that believe that you can do this and be with you. Now, if you say, how many do I need? I don't know. Because that is up to your belief systems. If you believe that you need 40 or 100 or 2,000, you see, some people, their belief systems are smaller than others. So you may get them to believe what you believe, but they won't believe that just 50 will be able to do it. They won't believe that just 100. But you see, just 100 or just 50 could. It. What if I believe I myself can manifest my world with a wonderful government that I I love and I love all their actions, You're right. and, and they are supporting this. You are you can manifest that, but you have to realize that you're living in a third dimensional state. You were born into third dimension, and all the things around you will not be seen by you in that dimension. Now. You will just simply disappear from the face of the earth because that would just change who you are completely and you would not be in third dimension any longer. Unless you wanted to connect to the people around you which are not in the same state that you're in, do you understand? You would have to be in the same state with them, third dimension, to be able to communicate with them. You can create your own government because what will happen is this. You will create your thought pattern and you will go to the world which is closest to that dimensional thought pattern. You will not be part of Earth anymore. You will simply disappear. You will not be part of this third dimension. Now, it is possible to do that. I do not know of any Earthling except for maybe two in the past that were able to create their own dimension and live in it and go to another place, but it has happened on Earth, but your belief system has to be pure, completely pure, and completely, you have to get rid of every shadow energy, and that is difficult for humans to do, because to enter into the next dimension in a full awareness, a full awareness, I understand that, you can enter into another dimension without full awareness, with the shadow energies and things like that. But to enter in with full awareness, there can be no shadow. But it, you will develop shadow energies in the new one. Oh, okay. But they're not as strong. Okay. Because you the reason for this is that any place that you go, any place that you go, any place, any dimension has some shadow energy and it has to be there to hold things together. Just like dark matter is there to hold the universe together and, and gravity and things of that nature that you cannot see that are, that are there and that can be seen in good or bad ways. You can even see your shadow energies in a positive way that they actually help me to see the, the greatest part of my goodness. They actually help me. You need some shadow to so that you can appreciate the light, that you can appreciate the goodness. So you have to rid yourself of that during that transition period. And then when you come to that place, you will immediately gain whatever shadow energy they have so that you can appreciate being in that dimension. Even when we cross into spirit, then we'll have shadows as well? No, you will not have shadow energies in spirit. Okay. That is a totally different... Um, we could spend a little more time on yeah, that. Okay. So, <laughs> but no, but we're talking dimensions here. Okay. We're talking dimensions, we're talking uh, physicalities, uh, densities, if you will. Um, but that is something different entirely. Whereas you're, you do not have to experience um, 
shadow energies unless you call them. So, because you have free will even in the afterlife to call on anything that you want. You have that free will. And so if you need a more appreciation of the afterlife, which I can't imagine, but you can call on that if you want and go to somewhere where the, you can experience something and remember. appreciate you visiting. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It is time for me to go. I have a meeting thank soon. You. Goodbye, Your Majesty. Ah, I have not been called that for a while. <laughs> well, thank you, Kenji. Thank you have a different word for me on the planet. It's not a bad word, but it's a good description of uh, the one in power or the power one or the one with energy or whatever you want to call it. But um, I don't use it much because when you when you are taking care of a people, you must connect with them in order to be a good leader. You must know what they are feeling as a whole to be able to meet their needs. Now you won't meet everybody's needs just as you won't make everyone happy. However, the greatest needs of the people are what I take care of. So, to call me something greater is not necessary. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming, Kanjeet, and answering some of our questions about the site to site. I think that will be helpful to a lot of people. Oh, you are so welcome. There is one Come more. Again. Yes. Come on. Who said what? Ah, namaste. Said, come again. Ah, hi, namaste. Yeah. namaste. Welcome, Kanjin. Haven't spoken to you today. This is no how. Hello, how are you? Hello, dear one. May I ask a question, a final one, before you leave? Because I had got the chance. Yes. Thank you very much. Regarding the chip again. Uh, what happened is I was thinking about it, but you said the about the privacy part is really, really concern. It's concerning us. We have the will to go, and we have decided to go. But the privacy part is a very important part. Like the rest, using the restroom, you know, the intimate matters, all the stuff that do matter for us. If it's yeah, go or do something about it, then or neg still negotiate about it, that will do. We are trying to discuss a way around the very personal, private issues. Exactly. We understand. Humanity, especially, has issues with privacy. There are some species that have no issues with privacy, and therefore that would not be a concern. However, with your planet, privacy issues are a great matter, and your discussions one with another are a great matter, and your privacy details are a great matter. So we are scrutinizing that to a great degree to make sure that everyone is comp has a part of the answer. Not, not that it will come soon because I'm sure there will be a lot of fight. However, it is not set in stone that a chip is the answer. Thanks and that will do. Take care of yourself and thank you very much. You are quite welcome. Merci beaucoup. And good to see Brian there behind the screen. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. I will move aside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> want you here. here so we love you. Ah, I do not know how to move the body to the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Much love, Kenji. Yes. I will leave now. Send yeah. love to Aaron. Thank you. Thank you for your interest and attention. Love to the children. Yeah. Hello. Cash. Ah, I the have to come in. Yes, it is I. The cash. So I just want to be here for a very short while okay. because. I need to tell you how happy I am for you that you are making progress. There are many of you that 
the, the messages are getting very much higher in your spirituality. Some of you are growing very strong in your spirituality and understanding that you do not have to change everything that you do to be a spiritual creature. That you can be who you are in your perfect self to ground yourself, move up through the fourth dimension and be happy. You do not have to limit yourself. You can unlimit yourself. Listen to me. Unlimit yourself. Make yourself unlimited. Because I see some of you with many talents, many things to do, many things to say, many words of wisdom to bring to those in your family. Not that you're sitting and preaching to them like, oh, mom, you have to do it this way. No! You will just be an example of what happiness, what great energy and what the culture is all about for arising in your time. Yes, it's a wonderful time and I am very excited. Yes. I look down and I get very excited. I also have my granddaughter. She is so exciting to me. But I see excitement there growing. Your colony is growing. It is beautiful. It's getting bigger. You are talking amongst yourself. You are growing. You are taking away each other's shadow energy when you speak to each other. It is a wonderful thing. I love it. So. I love it, and you can ask me to come and join you. I can channel to someone else, you know. Uh, it, I don't have to use this voice. I don't have to. I just like it. <laughs> I'm inviting you to communicate with me if you want. Ah, uh, sure, yes. I will come. I have come and visit you many times. But, um... And me, uh, you, and me. Ah, uh, very good, Liney. Yes, yes, yes. I, oh, I'm sorry, it's Caroline. But anyway, I, I like to call you Liney. I think it, I think of a straight and squiggly lines. And yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, Liney is pretty. So I think it makes me want to draw designs. So anyway, um, yes, remember that you are unlimited. Keep that in mind. Your creativity is unlimited. It is what you believe. It is, you know, you limit yourself. You limit yourself. You limit yourself because you are really unlimited. And if you limit yourself, you will be limited. If you do not limit yourself, it is amazing where you can go. I heard this young lady over here talking about moving into another dimension if she wanted to. Limitless. Yes. See, you, that is possible to happen. Humans do have that great ability to do these things. But many times, most people do not want to leave, leave the third dimension. They love the third dimension in all of its sorrow, sadness, glory, happiness, sexuality, the whole nine yards. They love the whole thing. But they don't want to admit They go, oh, woe is me. I'd rather be on another planet and be off this one. But you know what? They'd have the same problems there because they limit themselves, not the world. The survivability. It's the, yeah. It is who you are what you are feeling. If you are sad and depressed and lonely, you have created that for yourself or you let someone else create it for you. You let someone else create it for you. Take yourself out of it. You have that ability. You have that ability not to have to live in somebody else's reality. You can you can take yourself out of it. But many of you choose to live in this reality. You choose to live with one another as you are touching and moving and the physicality and the whole thing. But you do not have to live in a, your sorrow or your sorrow or your sorrow. You can create your own. You are a creative being. Create what you want. Create what you I have created such excitement right now, haven't I? Yeah. Absolutely. can hear it. See, I'm a yes, creator. Yes, 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 yes. We need this energy from the beginning. From the beginning. I love your energy. Yes. Noha. Hi, Noha. How are you? Love you, my dear one. I love you too. You see, what I did, I came in and I created something. Yes, I created yes, yes. Energy. I created energy. How can you create energy? You have to know that you can do it. You have to be aware of what you can create. You have to have the positivity to create what you want to create. And I came here to create excitement and positivity 
and love and understanding. Did I do it? Yes, you did. Excellent. Well, there is proof. There is proof that we are creators. There is proof that there is understanding of energy and how to manipulate it. I can come here and change the atmosphere of the room just by being here. Because I am going, I am excited. Be excited with me. And then you have the you have the understanding that you can be excited with me or you can create your own reality right where you sit, right where you stand, right where you are. So there you have it. My little message for today. Create your excitement. Create your reality. Create your love. Create your world in a way that you can move forward very quickly. Um, Lakesh, I know you're, you're not going to answer questions, but um, can oh, you do sure. just... Just one person, Marco. Can you answer questions for Marco? And I hope you realize that you have Brian sitting next to you. Ah, yes. Oh, Brian, Brian. We love you, we love you Brian. <laughs> Marco? Marco uh, doesn't have a question. Ah, oh, but, but okay. he, he wants you to come through tomorrow in his ah. session. He wants you to come through tomorrow. What is the question? Or what is the what is He it? wants you, Lakesh, to come through tomorrow. He has a session. Tomorrow. Oh, okay, Marco. Let Marco, me find you first. Marco da Costa from Portugal. Ah, very good. I'll see you tomorrow. Let us create some energy together. Let us create excitement together. Because we need this kind of excitement between us. Let me tell you why. When we attach with this kind of light and excitement, it goes out into the world. It doesn't just stay static. This kind of love and excitement moves out and is a bright light to everyone because we're all connecting. And so therefore, I come to you to create a bright light here that moves out into the community and helps those that don't even know they're being helped because we have the intention to help them. Accept us. If they don't accept us, we can't help them. However, if they see that it's an energy that they like and they bring us into their acceptance, voila, we are helping. We are helping. We are connecting to their light. We are connecting to their energy. We are bringing it up. We are healing, healing, healing. 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 Yes. Healing. You're all heal being healed right now. You're all being healed right now. And you know why? Because that's the intent of the energy. If you intend a great energy to come out in a healing way and you accept it as a healing energy, guess what? If you believe that it's true, it will help you Healing. Heal. Healing. Yes. Healing. Yes. And I want all of you to be healed. And so now, on that note, I will leave because it is time to go. But I love you all. And I wish the channel for you. Thank you. And much I bring you, much, bring you much love energy. Take it. I will give it. Give it to each other. Accept it. Believe it. Grow in it. Heal in it. It is what you believe. It is your creation. Create your healing. Create your garden of love. Your garden of health. Your garden of understanding in spirituality. Your garden of life. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> so many people are feeling the energy. Are you not? Yes. 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 One. Yes. 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 Ah, well, I will leave you now with energy to spare. Much love. Much love. Thank you, Lakesh. Much love. I do wish you Thank you, Lakesh. Much love. Much love.
That was so cool. That was so sweet. I love that cash. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Jim. Hey. Hey, how are you? Water? Wow. Yes, there it is. <laughs> Thank you. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow. That was okay. really good. Well, thank you. I, I, Lakesh was in rare form today. Um, very rare form today. So. Can I ask what you mean? Give us so much energy. Form? What? What? What was that? Oh, I was just asking what what do you mean by rare form? I'm just curious. I thought that he was more excited than usual. So. <laughs> Definitely, that was great. Because I'm here. Yeah, that's because Brian was here. <laughs> uh, he was re he was waiting to come. He was really he wanted to come first actually, but they he said they said. No, you have to wait because there's somebody else that wants to come first. But when he got here, he he could hardly stand it. He was so excited. <laughs> so he was very excited because you were here, and he, it was a special day. And you know, Lakesh likes attention, so um, <laughs> so he knew that there was a lot of people in the room too. So um, he's a he's a little bit of a show off, but we love him. So he has he has a good message. So so anyway, yes. Oh, well, I hope everybody enjoyed it. I, Sabrina, do you want to, is anybody out there want to lead in a prayer or anything? Yeah, um, I'll, I'll let Stephen do it first and then I'll go. Stephen, and is there anybody here in the room want to lead in a prayer? If they do, they have to sit beside me so they can be heard. Yes. Do you want to? Okay. Yes, uh, Will will no, do some praying. Oh, Will will? Okay, okay. Yes, so who's first, who's second? You tell us. Okay, Stephen, Will, and I'll go last. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Kanushta hakunishta hayoa, nanu hakoto hakishakukuna, kaniastro katona hastikistikotuka, na hatuka yaka. Thank you. We are so happy to see your energy rise, your light become that of something visible to the galaxy. We are happy to know that you are friends. We are happy that your love shares with our love and that we move with you in all ways in a caring circle of community and take care that we will always be with you and you will always be what, with us. Thank you for your giving and thank you for your understanding. Well, I'll do mine in English. Very good. <laughs> Thank you to the universe for this glorious day. May the words of wisdom shared today resonate with each and every one of you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Will. Tokan 
tuku sana ki yo on taso te yi wa tani wa te yo shun tuku horon tu shi anu si o ku o wa tani e shi o on tu shuku wa Energy translates to all portions of every dimension and density and universe. We share this energy. Therefore, we are part of one another. Whether you agree with that or not, we bring to you parts of ourselves that you do not have within you, and you bring to us part of your understanding and essence that we do not have and therefore sharing the universe as energy together we note that you are full of the promise of life thank you Jim Blessings to him. Wow. That was that was Kalyan. I know I know his energy now. Kalyan. What? Wow. what language was that, Sabrina? Hmm? What language was that? You yell. Oh, okay. Wow. That was All right. Was thank you everybody and thank you everybody that's here. This was like wow. A fabulous turnout. I need a stadium next time. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Convention center is next. <laughs> I'll, I'll actually need somewhere a little larger than this. I think we've outgrown my living room. So, uh, and now it's time for somewhere a little bit bigger. But we'll okay. take Helga up on her offer of her office, I think. And um, it's been a really great day. Does anybody have anything else to add? I do. I have a question for Brian. Yeah. So, Get in there, Brian. Brian, you're yes. you're now on the other side of the screen. <laughs> how how does it feel? How is how is it different? Is it different? It it feels wonderful because you get to see it from a different perspective. You get to see it from this point of view, this angle, what goes on behind the scenes, and it's really neat. It's 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 just a family, an extended family of love and community. This is this is what brings people together. Great. Is your openness, your vulnerability, your uh, a way to reach out to others and they observe that from above and that is what is beautiful I love it cool I love it thank you thank you thank you for everything and and most importantly did you hug to Kerr yes I did he did hug to Kerr okay. he hugged to Kerr shell and Grindel oh, Grindel and Grindel and Lakash and Lakash <laughs> <laughs> And Lakash as well. So okay, okay. Actually, I <laughs> Brian. I, I, yes, yes. Did you did you ask the question that I tell you to ask to her? And you said that's. I no. got wrapped up in a moment. <laughs> so, but, what were uh, And I even forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> it was about side to side. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well. Brian and I have been, and Will, <laughs> yesterday at lunch, we Will took a, a two-hour lunch just to... You weren't supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Will, took it's out there. <laughs> Will took lunch with us yesterday, and we just couldn't stop talking, so it was a wonderful time. And then after that, Brian and I couldn't stop talking. We talked till 11 o'clock at night, so um, it was like... All right, it's time for bed. We have to go to bed. <laughs> so it was really wonderful. Don't worry, you, we will. They won't know. Yeah. <laughs> no one's watching this. Nobody's watching this. <laughs> right? No, none of yours. Right, none of yours work is watching this. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody, and right, um, right. we're gonna. Some of us are gonna head off to the uh, lunch. Some of us. Uh, Will's going to a graduation.
Okay, thank you. Your son, right? Mm -hmm. His son's graduation is today. He's graduating from uh, SUNY Brockport. SUNY Brockport College. So that's so beautiful. Wow! Congratulations, Will. Yes, that's great. Uh, that's great. Uh, some of us are going to go to take a break and take up a bunch of tables and <laughs> take, <laughs> take a break. A break. <laughs> so who, whoever wants to come with us down to the diner. So we I'll go. I'll be there in, in a couple of hours, like three okay. hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, All right. Jim. Much, much love, love and thank Bye. you. Bye. Shabbat shalom. Bye.